Right back to him. Thought he may take the shot at the logo. They give it to Pondo! They put so much respect on the badge. JT, rare shot. Up ahead to A. Rooks. I'm all for dramatics. Walks back into a midi, no. Up ahead to A. Rooks. That's huge. And I'll get him off his cold ring. When you're down by double digits, or even down by five, that's fine. You're down by eight, ten. Start to get up there. I mean, coming back into the game. Well, that's a crucial turnover. Three and a half to go. Plondo. He shied away from those mid-range. I'm surprised he didn't make that shot. That's a shot a Rooks has been making all season. Plondo spins to the baseline. At 45, when we saw that graphic, that comparison graphic, and the Bucks have put the... Chatty. BP, see ya. But look at Plondo. A Rooks up to Plondo. Nobody will catch him. Able to find him at the mid-range, and again, he's on the shot creating slasher, so that is his shot in the mid-range area. What a block there by Plondo. Behind the back that he goes to so often, but Breadwinner makes him pick up a dribble. Plondo, two-hand jam. Walk it back, give it down to Plondo, who's got four points already. Working on Breadwinner, says, get off of me. Trying to get a screen from Plondo. And they'll go right to him. Steve's on him now. Doesn't matter. Sixers back with the lead. And I keep harping on that. That Jeff Terrell was, I wouldn't say he was furious, but he was certainly. A Rooks with it now. Gets it to Plondo. Down by three. Plondo back to A Rooks. Trying to get some space, and that's smart going for the two there. By Styles, no sort of bump, just gets a little bit of a blow by, and then straight to the basket. They're undefeated with Slay Island as the point guard, and just like that, they retake the lead. Final seconds here in the third. Chatty Nick. And Pondo! Heavily contested. Mama. Working in the paint. Leads all scorers with eight. And knocked away. Slay Island up ahead to A. Rooks. He'll pull the trigger. Plondo gets a free board and one. And they didn't know what they were going to get out of Jacko, and he ends up scoring 21 points. A. Rooks. Plondo. It's, it's basically just not jumping at this point. Obviously, not trying to go for blitz. You don't have to worry about Plondo. I mean, Drake still, to be fair, does have one that he still can use as well. Plondo just goes right to the rack. Maybe the most aggressive center. Ten-point lead now for the Bucks, and that'll count. Wow, that was a really quick jam. Game for sure. Even gave me the business after the game. Plondo, that's a power move. Again, Plondo. Plondo press X, Plondo steal ball, Plondo dunk ball. Doesn't sound like a big guy sport for me, so <laughs> hard pass. There's Plondo, now a 10. Plondo, back to A. Rooks, and somehow threads the needle to Plondo. Manny, back of the rim. And Plondo takes it away, up to A. Rooks. Mid-range. That playoff seed, which will ultimately be the eighth seed, locked up. So these teams are trying to get in the top seven. Rondo, skies in for the jam. Had to go here in the half. A. Rooks has got a few more embers left in the badge, and he'll give it off to Plondo. In front of him, he'd be more than happy to just take those easy dunks. Plondo. Just powering. Success that this team's had is probably the most slept on defensive duo that we have in the league. Just because of the way that they are able to slow some teams down. And one for Plondo. Game for us. But they got the Mavs and Warriors and then the Magic. I mean, not the easiest road that you can ask for. Last time down, Slay Alley getting his first points of the game. And Plondo. 
See, they're only down by 11.